Howdy everybody, this is Jeff, creator of UDoodle. In this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a silhouette of a face. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is get the face on the background. And the easiest way to do this is to tap File on the top right and then tap Import. We're going to choose Draw on a photo because that gets it in the background. And I'm going to pick from my camera roll. I've got this nice picture of myself already done. Uh, you can crop it in if you want to get more of just the face. And that looks pretty good. Pardon my facial hair. Okay, so one of the best ways to get an item traced, you can either use the scissors tool or for more precise cutting uh, and more of an artistic look, I actually like to use the brush tool. And that may be uh, kind of a surprise to you all, but the brush tool actually works really well for cutting out photos, and I'll show you how this works. So pick the brush tool. I prefer to use the color white. Make the size pretty small. Now remember you can nudge the slider back and forth, or you can triple tap it to enter an exact value. I'm going to try two and see how that looks. Let's zoom in real precise here. Oh, the other thing I should mention is you want to turn on line mode so it's easier to trace. That means you can lift up your finger and continue the line. That's pretty good. Um, it might make it actually a teeny bit thicker because I want more of an artistic look. And remember, you can long tap and hold to get a zoom preview bubble to get even more precise. So I'm going to zoom in even more. There we go. Now this silhouette's not going to be super precise, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it should suffice. Remember, I'm just panning with two fingers here. Uh, with a little bit thicker of an outline even, you can probably do an even better job. It's a little bit hard to get super precise with such a thin brush, but that is the way of it. So I'm almost done here. Let's get this wrapped up. And that's looking pretty good. I'll probably go down just a little bit to the neckline and go over. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that I've traced that, let's take a look at our layers by tapping the layers button. And we've got layers there. You can see a thin ghostly outline on the foreground and a background that contains the face. So you have a couple of options here. Uh, you, the, the first thing I would do is once you've got a really nice tracing, you probably want to save this so that in case you muck something up, you don't want to lose all of that. So save it to the sketchbook. And I'm going to call it Face 1. Okay, so that's saved to my sketchbook. Now I can play around with it and not worry about losing my work. If I were to mess something up, I could do File, Import, Sketchbook, and bring that right back in. Okay, so you have a couple of options here. Uh, if, you're, if you're done with that background and you don't want it, you can use the Layers button and say, uh, actually, it's Layers button Change Background to Transparent. And now you've got just the silhouette there, which looks neat. And now it's time for the fill bucket tool. Uh, this is then going to end up being a white silhouette, but once the silhouette becomes fully filled in, you can do any color that you want. So now I have a white silhouette. I could save that, but if I wanted to change it to a black silhouette, super easy. Just tap in there, and now I have a black silhouette. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you make silhouettes with U-Doodle. Very easy, very fast, very fun. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of edging there on the fill bucket tool. I believe it has a smooth edge option that'll get rid of some of that. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit nicer. Uh, so use that smooth edge if you're seeing some of that uh, banding on the edges there. And uh, please send any questions to support at udoodle.net. And thanks for using the app. Bye-bye.